Do you ever wonder if the food you're eating is making you happy? What if the secret to your happiness lies with what you had for breakfast? Let's discuss. Hi, my name is Nyla Pond, and in today's video, we're going to talk about the brain-body connection and how improving your health can boost your mood and your mental well-being. Part one, the brain-body connection. Our brain and body are intricately connected and influence each other in profound ways. Good physical health positively impacts our mental health, while poor physical health can increase stress and anxiety. Let's start with nutrition. I know, I know, don't come for me yet. What we eat can significantly affect our brain function and mood. Eat the rainbow. The more color you have on your plate, especially colors and shades of vegetables, the more nutrition you are getting. If you add lean proteins and grains, well, then you have the perfect recipe to support your brain health. Omega-3 fatty acids. These are particularly beneficial for your brain health and can also help decrease the symptoms of depression. Omega-3s can be found in fish and flax seeds. I personally like to remember it as salmon sashimi makes me really happy. Variety and enjoyment. If you find vegetables boring and tedious, you're certainly not alone. Find a tasty and easy recipe that makes your palate happy. And remember, I'm not forcing you to eat a vegetable that makes you gag. Find another vegetable or a texture that you enjoy and give it a try. Let's check in with science. Studies show that diets high in refined sugars can harm the brain, affect brain function negatively, and contribute to mood disorders. On the other hand, a balanced diet supports brain health. It enhances memory and focus and also promotes emotional stability. Now that is neat. Let's add exercise to the mix. Again, I know, I know, just hear me out. Get your body moving regularly. I'm not telling you to get off the couch and go to the gym. Personally, I can't do the gym, but I'm asking you to start slow, slide off the couch, and maybe go for a walk. Meeting yourself where you are without disrupting your life too much is the easiest way to make sure you follow through. For example, I had a goal where I decided I want to walk more. With my current work schedule, I found the easiest time for me to do more walking would be to get up early and get outside and go for a walk. I did that zero times. I woke up, I ate breakfast, I watched TV, I went to work. Then I decided to meet myself where I'm at. I like watching TV in the morning, so I bought myself a walking pad. Now I wake up early, I eat my breakfast, I watch my TV while walking on the walking pad. See, just meet yourself where you're at and go from there. No sudden moves. Regular physical activity boosts the production of neurotransmitters like serotonin and endorphins, which are natural mood lifters. Exercise also helps reduce cortisol levels, promoting a sense of calm and well-being. Engaging in as little as 30 minutes of moderate exercise five times a week can make significant difference in your mental health. Now let's science it up. Physical activity increases the production of endorphins, AKA the feel-good hormones which can help alleviate pain and increase your mood. Exercise also stimulates the growth of new brain cells in the hippocampus, an area of our brain associated with memory and learning, sleep and cognitive function. No, not the power naps. For proper cognitive function, mood regulation, and overall mental health, you need quality sleep. Have you woken up a couple of hours after going to bed all irritated? That's the feeling. You may also notice difficulty concentrating, increased stress, and anxiety levels. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep per night. Try finding sleep hygiene routines that work for your lifestyle. The science behind the sleep stuff is that there is a clear link between sleep quality and mental health. Poor sleep is associated with an increased risk of mental health issues, while adequate sleep helps consolidate memories, process emotions, and maintain cognitive function. The amount of work your brain does while you're sleeping is amazing, right? Understanding the brain-body connection shines a light on the importance of maintaining good physical health to take care of your mental well-being. By focusing on a diet full of nutrients, regular exercise, and quality sleep, we can boost our mood and overall happiness. As always, small changes to your daily routine are key. Don't throw in everything in at once. Start small and make lasting changes. Part two. Regular checkups. Regular health checkups play a huge role in ensuring you're healthy physically and mentally. Establishing a baseline of blood work, vital signs, and your general health is very important. Having information to work with as a baseline will help your healthcare practitioner to give you a direction to go. Are you in optimal health right now? Or are there things you might want to improve? Regular checkups also help your healthcare practitioner catch health issues early, allowing for timely intervention and treatment. If you have any chronic conditions, these also allow for monitoring your conditions to prevent further complications. Healthcare in the US. Okay, you're on board with the checkups, but you live in the US where healthcare costs an arm and a leg. If cost is a concern, many communities offer free or low cost clinics. Look into your local resources for affordable healthcare options. Preventative care is usually freely available in these types of clinics. And this includes vaccinations, screenings, and wellness exams. They also tend to have further community resources for specialty care that you might utilize. Preventative care is crucial in maintaining your health proactively. Please make sure to get regular screenings. They can help detect issues before they become severe and require hospitalization. And I almost guarantee you, not one person is happy when they're at the hospital. If you're anxious about your health, getting regular checkups can also help decrease anxiety about the unknown health conditions, providing you a peace of mind. Part 3. 
actionable steps. Now that I've given you all this information, let's check in and find some practical actionable steps. Try incorporating small changes into your daily routine. As I always say, start small. None of this zero to 100, okay? Start eating a vegetable before you eat your lunch. Take a 10 minute walk after you've eaten your dinner. Turn off your screens 30 minutes before going to bed. Gradually build up these habits to create a healthier lifestyle without overwhelming yourself. Remember, consistency is more important than perfection. When your health is a priority, you will make time and effort to schedule regular exercise, think about your meals in advance, and set reminders for bedtime. I can almost guarantee that there's at least one person in your circle of family or friends that would love to join you on this journey. Talk to your close friends and family and see if there's one person or even a group of people with whom you can go on this journey together and keep each other accountable. In this video, we discussed several things we could do to improve our physical health, which in turn affects our mental well-being. We talked about nutrition, exercise, and sleep, and how all of these impact your overall health. The most important takeaway is all of these changes do not need to be overwhelming. Please take care in starting slow and staying consistent. This is a marathon, not a sprint. Our goal is not to do this for a week and then jump off the wagon completely. Our goal is to make these changes a part of our effortless routine. And that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. This video is a part of my series, Becoming Happy in 10 Days or Less. Please check the description for previous videos. If you've enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Remember, keep glowing and stay inspired. See you next time.